Namaskar viewers. Good evening. You are watching Sunset TV and this is House Highlights with me, Rajiv Kumar Singh. Let us start with the headlines. Parliament adjourned over protests, ruling party members adamant on demand for an apology from Congress leader Rahul Gandhi. Opposition members seek JPC probe into Adani Row. Amid opposition sloganeering, Lok Sabha takes up Finance Bill 2023. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman says, Bill has 10 main provisions targeted to benefit middle class and ease of doing business. And notices under Rule 267 will be taken up if they are procedurally correct. Rajya Sabha Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar assures members rejects 14 notices for not complying with requirements. Let's begin with the Rajya Sabha news. Rajya Sabha proceedings were adjourned for the day on Friday amid a stalemate between the ruling BJP and the opposition parties over several issues. Sloganeering over Rahul Gandhi's remarks in London and demands for a JPC probe into the Adani group controversy caused repeated adjournments throughout the day. The Rajya Sabha took up private members' resolutions, MP Adul Wahab's resolution on the such a Committee report on modernizing madrasas and preventing atrocities against Muslims failed to pass. BJP MP Ajay Pratap Singh objected to the bill. Chachach Committee ne jo apne report mein baate bhi kahi hain, jo sifarshe bhi kahi hain, wo bahut purana agenda hai. उन्होंने जो रिपोर्ट में बातें कही हैं वो इसलिए भी मानने योग्य नहीं है कि हमारे यहां एक कहावत है कि दूध का जला मट्ठा भी फूंक फूंक कर पीता है सर फॉर मी दिस रेजोल्यूशन व्हिच कास्ट दैट स्पर्शन ऑफ इनइक्वालिटी दिस रेजोल्यूशन दैट कास्ट्स एन स्पर्शन इन फैक्ट रिड्यूसेस इट टू अ स्लर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ रिलीजन is a resolution I hope this House unanimously rejects. Post this, all resolutions lapsed since the respective members were not present in the House. Honorable members, in a helpless condition, since Friday's list of business provides time to private members' resolution from 2.30 p.m. onwards up to 5 p.m., and that could not be taken. I have seen honorable members being extremely concerned with private members' day. They look forward to it. It allows them a rare platform to put across their points of view on which a debate takes place in a structured manner and the government is called upon to respond. That being the situation, the House stands adjourned to meet on Monday at 11 a.m. March 27, 2023. Earlier, when the House reassembled at 2.30 p.m., after an earlier adjournment, Deputy Chairman Harivansh tried to take a private member's business and further discussion on a resolution. Amid the din, he adjourned the House till 3.30 p.m. Honorable members, please, please allow to continue discussion. Since the House is in disorder, House stands adjourned till 3.30 p.m. today. In the pre-lunch session, Chairman Dhankar said the House is in disorder from both sides amid sloganeering by ruling BJP and opposition members. He then adjourned proceedings till 2.30 p.m. The House is in disorder from both sides. The House stands adjourned to meet at 2.30 p.m. today. Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar raised concern over repeated disruptions in the House and said, in this temple of democracy, we are facing a situation where dialogue, discussion, 
debate and deliberation are not taking place. He urged members to use parliamentary theatres to voice public interest issues. A state of affairs that we in this temple of democracy are facing a situation where dialogue, debate, discussion and deliberation is not taking place. It was great pain for me when there was debate on the address of the Honorable President. In the Business Advisory Committee, the members of the committee persuaded me to earmark 12 hours. We could not utilize that. That was a valuable occasion for every section of the House to ventilate issues that are germane to public interest. How, however, severe may be the differences, however divisive may be the approach, however conflicting points of view may be there, this House is called upon to rationalize them. This House is meant to ensure that issues of national import However critical may they may be, shown of tempers, a resolution takes place here. The country is watching us. The world that is appreciating Indian democracy as never before is also looking at us. I would expect honorable members of the House to introspect, reflect, and as a way forward stance, take this theater as the main determining place for course of events. Emotive outburst is a political weapon on which I have nothing to say. But this is a place where in sobriety, in composed atmosphere, we have seen evolution of our constitution. I reminded the Honorable Members earlier that for three years Constituent Assembly Members met. They faced severe issues, contentious issues, divisive issues, but there was never an occasion for them to generate disturbance in the House. Disorder of the House not to speak of ever going to the well, shouting slogans or using placards. This place is not meant for political theatrics that may be outside. This place is meant for resolution in larger public interest of the issues that face the nation. Because it is here a member has a right not available to more than 130 crore people. Right of expression here has an immunity cover from any civil and criminal prosecution. One cannot have a greater right to say anywhere else other than the parliament where you are of course accountable but you can make your point. If we do not use parliamentary theatres to voice public interest issues, the vacuum may be filled otherwise. And that does not augur well for democracy. I am sure there will be thinking people in the country who will generate a climate and ecosystem to persuade our members of parliament that they must take their job seriously in national public interest and participate in the proceedings. I am sure there will be deep thinking by everyone, including members of the House. Chairman Jagdeep Dhankar on Friday assured the members that notices under Rule 267 will be considered if they are fully compliant
with the requirements. He rejected 14 notices under Rule 267. The notices were not in accordance with the requisites. I had indicated on the last occasion also there has been part compliance of Rule 267. I can assure you as and when there will be a notice fully compliant with the requirement of Rule 267, it will for sure receive my earnest consideration and a deliberated response. In this situation, I am helpless and cannot accede to the request. Minister of State for Parliamentary Affairs, V. Murlidharan, apprised the members of the upper house about the bills the government wants to bring to the house next week. Important bills scheduled for next week include the competition bill and the biodiversity bill, along with consideration and return of the appropriation bills. With your permission, sir, I rise to announce that government business for the remaining part of the 259th session of Rajya Sabha will consist of one, consideration of any item of government business carried over from today's order paper, uh, which contains further discussion on the working of the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, discussion on the working of the Ministry of Textiles, discussion on the working of the Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy, discussion on the working of the Ministry of Rural Development, discussion on the working of the Ministry of Cooperation, and discussion on the working of the Ministry of Railways. Item number two, discussion on the working of the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. Three, general discussion on the budget of Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir for 23-24. Four, consideration and return of the appropriation bills relating to following demands as passed by Lok Sabha. One, demand for grants for the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir for the financial year 23-24 from 1st April 23 to 31st March 24 and supplementary demands for grants for the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Time for a very short break in the bulletin. News from the lower house on the other side. Stay tuned. Welcome back to House Highlights. Let us now take a look at some key moments in the Lok Sabha. On the ninth day of the proceedings of the second leg of the budget session, protests continued in both sides in the lower house. Ruling party members kept demanding Congress leader Rahul Gandhi's apology for his remarks made in London, while the opposition members protested and sought a JPC into the Adani group controversy. Congress MPs rushed into the well, demanding that Rahul Gandhi be allowed to speak. Amit the Din, Speaker Om Birla, adjourned the proceedings till 12 p.m. Mera agra hai, sadan chale. Sadan na channe se mera man dukhi hota hai. Aap agar sadan hi chahe to sadan ki karwai aaj 12 baje tak ke liye iste ki jati hai. Proceedings in the lower house resumed at 12 noon. Opposition members again demanded that Rahul Gandhi get an opportunity to speak in the house. The chair informed the House that the Speaker had rejected all suspension of business notices. Members laid papers on the table of the House amid sloganeering. I have a question for you. 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 I have a Nihal Chand Chauhan presented the 26th report of Committee on Estimates 2022-23 on Evaluation of Electric Vehicle Policy. Santosh Kumar Gangwar laid the action taken reports on the Committee on Public Undertakings. Harish Divedi presented the report of the Committee on Petitions. Kvrit Premji Bhai Solanki laid the report on the Committee on the Welfare of Scheduled Castes and Scheduled Tribes.
मैं अपने नाम के समूह तथा सूचीबद्ध इलेक्ट्रॉनिक वाहन नीति का मूल्यांकन विषय पर एस्टिमेट कमेटी का छब्बीसवा प्रतिवेदन हिंदी और अंग्रेजी में प्रस्तुत करता हूँ आदरणीय सभापति जी मैं आज की कार्य सूची में मेरे नाम के सम्मुख सूचीबद्ध सरकारी उपक्रमों संबंधी समिति की, की गई कार्रवाई विवरण की हिंदी और अंग्रेजी संस्करण सभा पटल पर रखता हूँ सर आई एम टू प्रेजेंट द फोर्टी सेकेंड फोर्टी थर्ड फोर्टी फोर्थ फोर्टी फिफ्थ फोर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी सेवेंथ एंड फोर्टी एट्थ रिपोर्ट हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश वर्जन ऑफ द कमिटी ऑन पटिशन एज लिस्टेड अगेंस्ट माई नेम एट सीरियल नंबर इलेवन इन टू डेज ऑर्डर पेपर Minister of State in the Ministry of Parliamentary Affairs Arjun Ram Meghwal made a statement regarding government business for the rest of the session. With your permission, I rise to announce the government business for the remaining part of the 11th session of 17th Lok Sabha will consist of number 1 consideration of any item of government business carried over from today's order paper it contains consideration and passing of finance bill 2023 and consideration and passing of repealing and amending bill 2022 number second passing of the following bills number one the competition amendment bill 2022 number second the biological diversity amendment bill 2022 and third the inter services organization command control and discipline bill 2023 number three consideration and passing of the multi state cooperative societies amendment bill 2022 as reported by joint committee the lok sabha on friday passed the finance bill 2023 with some amendments the finance bill 2023 was passed with 64 official amendments including the withdrawal of long term tax benefits on certain categories of debt mutual funds and setting up the gst appellate tribunal following amendments 20 new sections have been added to the bill the finance bill will now be sent to the rajya sabha khand to yatha sanshodhit vidhayak ka ang bana jo sadasya ke pakch mein wo haa kahe jo sadasya ke virodh mein wo na kahe mere vichar mein nirnay hawalon ke pakch mein hua hawalon ke pakch mein khand ek yatha sanshodhit vidhayak ka ang bana prashn hai ki vidhayak adhiniyam sutra vidhayak ka pura naam vidhayak ka ang bane jo sadasya ke pakch mein wo haa kahe jo sadasya ke virodh mein wo na kahe मेरे विचार में निर्णय हवालों के पक्ष में हुआ हवालों के पक्ष में हुआ अधिनियम सूत्र और विधेयक का पूरा नाम विधेयक का अंग बने मंत्री जब प्रस्ताव करें कि यथा संशोधित विधेयक को पारित किया जाए सर आई बेग टू मूव दैट द फाइनेंस बिल 2023 एज समेंडेड बी पास प्रश्न है कि विधेयक यथा संशोधित को पारित किया जाए जो सदस्य इसके पक्ष में वो हाँ कहे जो सदस्य इसके विरोध में वो ना कहे मेरे विचार में निर्णय हावालों के पक्ष में हुआ हावालों के पक्ष में हुआ प्रस्ताव स्वीकृत हुआ और विधेयक यथा संशोधित पारित हुआ Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman called for improvements in the national pension system. She suggested setting up a committee under the Finance Secretary to look into the issue of national pension scheme. Representations have been received that the national pension system, the national pension system for government employees, needs to be improved. I propose to set up a committee under the finance secretary to look into this issue of pensions and evolve an approach which addresses the needs of the employees. while maintaining fiscal prudence to protect the common citizens the approach will be designed for adoption by both central and state governments sitaraman also suggested that the rbi should look into issues related to credit card payments for foreign tours not being captured under the liberalized remittances scheme it has been represented that payments for foreign tours through credit cards are not being captured under the liberalized remittance scheme the lrs and such payments escape collection at source the reserve bank is being requested to look into this 
with a view to bring credit card payments for foreign tours within the ambit of LRS and tax collection at source thereof. Amid opposition sloganeering, Lok Sabha took up the Finance Bill 2023, moved by Finance Minister Nirmala Sita Raman. to move that the bill to give effect to the financial proposals of the central government for the financial year 23-24 be taken into consideration. The Finance Minister informed the House that uh, the Finance Bill brought 10 main provisions targeted to benefit middle class and promote ease of doing business. The budget envisages expenditure of uh, 45 lakh crore for the financial year starting April 1st. It has been represented that payments for foreign tours through credit cards are not being captured under the liberalized remittance scheme, the LRS. And such payments escape the collection at source. The Reserve Bank is being requested to look into this with a view to bring credit card payments for foreign tours within the ambit of LRS and tax collection at source thereon. Now the Lok Sabha is to reconvene on March 27th, 2023 at 11am. The sloganering by opposition members continued even after passing of the bill. After that, the Lok Sabha was then adjourned till Monday, 27th of March, 11am. That's all in the House highlights for today. For daily updates of the budget session, keep watching Sunset TV. Good night.